GPT-4 is here, and I've discovered something amazing and potentially terrifying about OpenAI's latest version of their natural language AI engine. If you've used ChatGPT based on the GPT-3 engine, then their latest version is gonna knock your socks off. Alternative phrases to the phrase knock your socks off. This will leave you awestruck. The new rollout does most of the stuff that the previous version did, like uh, it'll pass the legal bar exam, except this one will get within the top 10% of results as opposed to the other one that didn't do quite as well. Oh yeah, and it'll code your website based on your design on the back of a napkin. HTML, JavaScript, yeah, really. That is mind blowing. But perhaps the most fascinating and potentially scary thing about GPT-4 is the findings of a research group who let it loose inside a closed system so no access to the internet, gave it some money and tested whether it could make more money for itself, replicate itself and ultimately become more intelligent. This is exactly the same scenario that I remember reading in my favorite book about AI, Life 3.0 by Max Tegmark. Now this guy is a physics professor at MIT, so he really knows his stuff. And what he describes in the book is a scenario that's scarily similar to what the test group were doing with GPT-4. It's a kind of Skynet scenario where a new AI is given a bit of money and asked to speculate on the stock exchange and invest in various things, create a media company, seeing if it would replicate itself, increase its own intelligence and grow. It makes you wonder if this is a good idea or if it's like the code version of those guys at Boston Dynamics that keep kicking the robots. Did Terminator teach you anything? Seriously, this and other developments from OpenAI and other big tech companies working on similar emergent technologies are bringing great new functions, some really amazing new features. But they're also raising huge questions about jobs, intelligence, creativity, and existential issues. Have you used ChatGPT or GPT-4? Do you have a job that's affected by it positively or negatively? I'd love to know in the comments. And if you're looking for a corporate speaker for your next event, I've just let AI run my life for a month, and I've got a great presentation about it.